Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss area approximation, mathematics paper one, number 20. The diagram below shows a sketch of two curves, y equals to x squared plus five, and y equals to x squared plus two, drawn on the same grid. Therefore, this is the sketch of the two curves. Then we are told, uh, part A, using trapezium rule with seven strips, estimate the area bounded by the curves, y equals to x squared plus five, y equals to x squared plus two, and the lines x equals to negative three, and x equals to positive four. Therefore, part A, we're going to work using a, the trapezium rule with seven strips. That means if this is a x equals to negative three, we can have negative two and negative one at those points. Then we can have one, two, and three at those points. Therefore, we're going to have our seven strips here. We're going to have our seven strips here. Just trying to sketch them. All right, so these are the seven strips. And the area now is bounded by the two curves and x equals to negative three, x equals to four. So the area between the curves and the lines of x, then the area, just to shade it, is going to be this area. So this is now the area we want the red shaded area now from x equals to negative three up to x equals to positive four then between the two curves so that is what we're going to calculate the first thing to do is to get the values of y at those intervals of x so i'm going to have values of y with corresponding values of x So we can have from negative three, negative two, negative one, and zero, one, two, three, four. Then now because the curves are two, instead of uh, wasting some time, let me just come up with the two values of y for all the curves. Therefore now, I'm going to talk about curve y equals to x squared plus five, then the other curve, which is equal to x squared plus two. Therefore with the first curve, when we substitute negative three as the value of x, we're going to get 14. The next value is going to be nine. Then uh, six, five, six, nine, fourteen, and a twenty-one. And for the second curve, we are going to have eleven, six, three, two, three, six, eleven, and eighteen. So we have the values of y now for the two curves. We can get area under each curve so the area between the respective curves and the x-axis can be found using the first values of y we're going to estimate the area between this first curve all the way to the x-axis all the way to the x-axis therefore i'm going to call it area one because generally using the trapezium rule area is given by a times uh, the value of h. Then now we have the first y, the last y, then plus two into all the other values of y in between now, all the other values of y in between. Therefore, the first area using the first curve, we call it area one. I'm going to have half, h is the interval which is one from one value of x to the next then now after this i can have the first y which is 14 and the last y 
which is a 21. Then I add two times all the otherwise nine, six, five, six, nine, 14. Therefore, when I solve this, this is going to be 0 0.5. And I'm going to have a, the value here is a 35. When I add 14 and 21, then two multiplied by all the other values there, I'm going to get a 98. So when I multiply this, I'm going to get exactly 66.5 square units. Then now after this, there is another area now. Area two, whereby I need again half multiplied by one. Then now I go for the next curve now. For the next curve, whereby the first value is 11 and the last value is 18. Then I take two plus all the other values, six, three, two, three, six, 11. So when I compute this, I'm going to get exactly 45 square units. 0.5. Therefore, now when I take for me to get area now, I need area one minus area two. That will give me the area between the two curves because I will have taken area between the first curve and the x axis, then area between the other curve and also the x axis. So that now I get the area between the two curves. Therefore, 66.5 minus 45. 0.5 this will give me exactly 21 square units 21 square units now there is another question which is talking about area using the mid ordinate rule part b determine the area in a above if the mid ordinate rule with seven strips is used so with these strips now i'm going to obtain the middle parts of y now for mid ordinate, I'll use the value of y at this point, at this point now, at the mid. If we have negative three up to negative two, now the mid ordinate is the value of y at negative 2.5 and such. That means I'm going to get another, another table, another table of values, uh, sorry, another table of values. of x, then values of the mid ordinates, again for two curves. Let me work with the two curves once, so that we don't take a, a lot of time. So we need the values of x, then the first x squared plus five, y equals to x squared plus two. So we start with the negative 2.5, negative 1.5, negative 0 0.5, then we have negative 0, now positive 0 0.5, sorry. Then we go to 1.5, 2.5, and finally 3.5. So we need the values of y because this will give us now the mid ordinates. Therefore, the first one, when we substitute negative 2.5, I'm getting 11.25. Then there is a 7.25. The next becomes 5.25. Then again, 5.25. After that, I'll go to 7. 0.25, then 11.25, and finally, I love a 17.25. Therefore, those are the values of y in the respective values of x. In the second curve, I'll start with the 8.25 when I substitute in the function. Then uh, when I substitute negative 1.5 in the function, I'm going to 4.25, then uh, 2.25, and again 
then uh, 4.25 8.25 and finally i love a 14 0.25. Now I can use the mid ordinate whereby area is generally given by H, then all the values of Y added. All the values of Y added. All of them. Therefore, the first area for the first curve will be uh, the uniform width between the ordinates is just one unit. Therefore, area equals to 1 into 11.25 plus 7.25 plus 5.25 plus again 5.25 plus 7.25 plus 11.25 and finally a 17.25 and when all these values of y are added we get area is equivalent to area equals to 64.75 square units then uh, there will be area two now for the second curve so intervals again are of one unit then we start with the uh, 8.25 plus 4.25 plus 2.25 the next is going to be again 2.25 plus 4.25 plus 8.25 and finally a 14.25 therefore when we add all the values we're going to get 43.75 so area now is going to be 64.75 minus 43.75 this will give us again exactly 21 square units 21 square units Remember the first approximation also gave us 21 square units. You can also try the same area by integration and see the exact area that you're going to get. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.